In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to Google Forms, which is a part of Google Drive. Google Forms is a useful tool for collecting information from your students by creating surveys, polls, and quizzes. In this video, I'll show you how to create a form with different types of questions, how to send that form to others, and how to look at your results. To get to Google Drive, go to drive.google.com and enter your account information. Your Google Drive is linked to the account you use for Gmail. If you don't have an account, you will need to create one before using Google Drive. To create something new in Google Drive, simply click on the red button in the top left corner of the screen titled New. That will drop down a menu that allows you to see the different applications available to you. Today we're going to focus on Forms, so select Google Forms from this list. A new form looks like this. It might seem overwhelming at first, but we'll walk through the most important features. First, let's change the name from Untitled Form. You can change this to any name that works for the form you're creating. I'm going to call this Student Information because I want to make a form you could use to collect information about the students in your class. After naming the document, we can start adding questions. First, let's click the Question Type drop-down menu to see what the available options are. The first question I want to ask my students is for their name, so I'm going to select a text question. In Question Title, I'll enter first name, and then in Help Text, I'll put Please put your preferred name or nickname here so that I know what my students want me to call them. I'm also going to check Required Question. This makes sure the survey can't be submitted without this question being answered. Then I'll click Done to complete the question. What if I want to create a different type of question? I can select Paragraph Text for longer answers, Multiple Choice, Check Boxes, Choose from a List, or other options such as Date or Time. Let's take a look at a finished form I've already created. Here I have a paragraph question for students to write about their interests, a checklist for best days for review sessions, and a scale to see how they feel about public speaking. Play around with different question types and see which ones work the best for you. Once you're done adding questions, click View Live Form to see what it looks like. You may notice that this form, while functional, doesn't look very interesting. Let's fix that by clicking Change Theme. There are a variety to choose from, but I'm going to pick Library since it fits with my survey. Now that my form looks great, let's send it. Go back to Edit Questions and click Send Form at the bottom of the page. To send this to my students, I can either copy the link to post, click to share through Google+, Facebook, or Twitter, or directly email it by entering email addresses. You can even customize the message that is sent. Once students have responded to your survey, click View Responses to see your results. You'll be taken to a spreadsheet where your survey data is automatically stored. This works just like Excel, so you can sort your data, filter it, make charts and graphs, and more. Google Forms is great for all sorts of tasks, both in and out of the classroom. If you want to learn more, contact us at ctrl.american.edu. Thanks for watching!